soon on the newly elected speaker's plan to keep the government running. Congress has a deadline at midnight on Friday to reach an agreement, and ABC's Rena Roy has the latest. For the second time in two months, the nation on the brink of a government shutdown. What we need to do is avoid the government shutdown. Why? Because that would unduly harm the American people. Congress voting on a short-term spending bill introduced by newly elected Speaker Mike Johnson, the plan requiring two-thirds majority to pass. And we want to make sure, fund, uh, first and foremost, that government gets funded. The unconventional bill dividing funding into two parts and keeps agencies like Veteran Affairs, Transportation and Housing going until January and the rest of the government functioning until February. We are not going to have a massive omnibus spending bill right before Christmas. This allows us as conservatives to go into the fight on the next uh, the stages of this. Speaker Johnson facing opposition from within his own party. Are you going to vote to pass the CR today? Where do you stand? No. Well, we're not cutting any spending. But some Democrats saying they're open to the plan. From the very beginning of this Congress, Democrats have made clear that we are going to find common ground with our Republican colleagues on any issue in good faith. If the House should pass it, and I hope they do, um, Senate Leader McConnell and I will figure out the best way to get this done quickly. Neither McConnell nor I want to shut down. If the continuing resolution passes, it goes to the Senate next. And if it makes it through that hurdle, it lands on President Biden's desk. Rena Roy, ABC News, New York.